Some apparent good news about that massive fish kill in southwestern Nova Scotia tonight. Officials say the number of dead marine animals washing ashore in St. Mary's Bay seems to be down significantly, but the mystery of what caused the fish kill continues. Experts say they're still analyzing the data, but CTV's Suzette Beliveau has found a man who has his own theory on what happened. St. Mary's beaches are still littered with fish carcasses, but the situation does seem to be improving. Reports of new wash-ups are declining, and the new reports show much less extensive than the previous reports. Trouble started about a month ago when thousands of dead herring started washing ashore in southwestern Nova Scotia. A few weeks later, other marine life followed, nearly every conceivable form of sea life. DFO says the majority of the existing dead fish appears to be between the Sisabu River and the Plimpton-Barton area, a place they're watching closely. DFO continues to monitor the area for uh, incidents, uh, evidence of new uh, incidents. Uh, our most recent reports show that beaches from Tuscat to Inner St. Mary's Bay are clear. Since it began, theories on the fish kill have abounded. Suggestions it might be related to everything from the tidal turbine to seismic activity. Others have their own ideas. Terence Long is with a group called the International Dialogue on Underwater Munitions. He blames toxic chemicals and waste from the First World War. This happened up until the 1970s when the militaries of the world used dumping munitions in the ocean as a means of disposal rather than pay to recycle and reuse that waste. DFO says water tests haven't shown any contamination so far. But Long isn't surprised. He says 100-year-old chemicals are challenging to detect and can only be found in real time. What's happening now is the waters are becoming warmer, and as the waters get warmer, the chemicals are hydrolyzing or some decaying at a faster rate than they normally have been. Long says the problem is only the tip of the iceberg, and it may take a world body like the UN to tackle the problem. DFO says its latest update should come tomorrow. Suzette Beliveau, CTV News, Halifax.